What's going on, Ghost Squad? Trey with Ghost Tactical to talk a little bit about our Second Amendment being infringed upon. Uh, as we know, in the wake of the Florida school shooting tragedy that happened on February 14th, in combination with a couple other incidents that have happened in the last six to eight months, uh, our elected officials and the government seem to be going on a gun control Armageddon. They're coming after our guns, and they're really going to try to pass some bills that could change the face of the Second Amendment and the Constitution as a whole as we know it. So let's dive into a couple of them. Uh, the biggest one that's happened in the last few days is what's going on in Minnesota. Um, Representative Linda Slocum has proposed uh, a bill that uh, would effectively take us back to the Civil War era as far as firearms. Um, she's going to um, try to take away semi-automatic pistol rifles and shotguns, uh, bump stocks, silencers, high capacity magazines of 10 rounds or more. She's also going to do some things in this bill. We're going to jump into this real quick. There were several hundred people that showed up to the state capitol this morning to uh, protest this bill and other uh, gun control legislation. The first part of this is going to expand the definition of assault weapon. Uh, they're going to try to include semi-automatic pistols, rifles, and shotguns. So if you were able to have one of these registered prior to February of 2018, you may be able to keep them, but here's some hoops you got to jump through. First of all, you're going to have to re-register that gun every year, by the way, go through another background check, and then, then you can only use them on your own property or at a shooting range. Um, these weapons cannot be sold, transferred at all. Um, they can only be surrendered to law enforcement for destruction. The second part of this bill is going to be ban private gun sales between family members or through inheritance. All sales and transfers could only go through licensed dealers. Such sales and transfers would have a two-day waiting period. A record of all gun transfers will be filed with the county. The third part of this is to require all ammunition to be purchased from a licensed dealer and require a record of all sales for three years. So not only are they going to keep track of the guns, who has them, they're going to keep track of what ammo and how much ammo that someone has bought for three years. The fourth part of this is to make bump stocks, silencers, and high capacity magazines, which they're defining as 10 rounds or more, not only illegal, but they're going to make it a felony in the state of Minnesota. A felony for a magazine that holds more than 10 rounds. So that means that a lot of your guys' guns that you're carrying every day probably are going to be, uh, they, they could be banned anyways because they're going to be semi-automatic, but if you choose to carry, let's say, a Glock with a 15-round magazine, you're now a felon. This kind of wording and this kind of legislation is detrimental to the Second Amendment and to the Constitution. The Second Amendment is here to let us protect ourselves from inside and outside enemies. That includes a tyrannical government. It sounds like right now the government does not want us to be able to defend ourselves against anybody unless we have a revolver, a bolt action rifle, or black powder, I guess. If Minnesota is able to pass this, this is going to give the hope and the chance to every state in the Union that they can pass similar gun control. This could be very, very dangerous, and once again, they're already calling this in Minnesota the gun control Armageddon. The next thing we're going to talk about, guys, is Ohio. Now, Ohio is uh, proposing some an aggressive uh, gun control legislation that has got the full backing of Republican Governor Rick Kasich. His group's calling this some of the red flag legislation, and they're going to be talking about uh, being able to allow law enforcement or police to come into your homes and take weapons if you have been deemed by a court is unfit to own a firearm. So basically what they're going to do is not only are they going after the Second Amendment, but they're going after the Fourth Amendment. And this could be as dangerous as anything. They're taking the whole Constitution and throwing it out the window and say, to hell with it, we're going to do whatever we want to do. So guys, we've talked about a couple different states with Minnesota and Ohio. There's obviously stuff going on all over the country. So the question is, is what can we do about it? Well, there's two things we can do. One, you can sit back on your butts and do nothing and say you're a pro-gun advocate, but uh, you're going to sit there and watch everything fly by and watch the Constitution being rewritten right in front of you. If you do this, then shame on you and you have no right to complain later on. 
or you can become a Second Amendment activist and do something about it. Whether that's contacting your state, local, and federal elected officials and tell them how you feel about this. Now, there are going to be federal bills they're going to try to pass over the next year or so, and we all know what can happen. We're going to make sure that we're supporting the gun owners of America, NRA, the Second Amendment Foundation, and any of these other federally national uh, gun activist organizations. Make sure you're supporting all of them. Whether you like all of them or not, then um, that's on you, but we need to make sure that everyone is being represented in the gun community. But what's really going to be dangerous is what's going to happen at the state level. The state level legislation is going to be much more dangerous than the federal. Why? Because they can do a lot more in their state than you can get probably passed at the federal level. The problem is, is once one state passes one of these, then all the other states are going to start thinking, well, we can do the same. So it's going to spread like wildfire. So you need to make sure that you're staying in contact with your state and local rifle and pistol associations, organizations, your activists, uh, your Second Amendment activist organizations in your state level or local level. Continue to uh, berate your elected officials and your representatives and state senators on making sure that they understand that if they're going to pass gun control legislation, then we will be looking for new representation when the election cycle comes through. Now, another thing you can do is the 2A capital rallies. Over at Gun Channels, we, 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 we organized a, a 2A capital rally back in November of 2017 on about 12 days notice. What we're going to try to do now is start having these more frequently and more often and get a lot more people involved with them. You can go check out the Facebook page over there. Over on the Facebook page, every state's going to be represented over there. And no matter what state you are, you can kind of search around and talk to different people from your state, find out who's kind of organizing, what you can do to help, and then help spread the word. Go to all your gun shops and make sure that everyone is supporting the local gun shops, but also ask them to put out flyers, to share on their Facebook. All your friends that are pro-gun, make sure everyone is sharing on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, everything that you can do. Make sure that all of this stuff is getting shared as many times as we can to make sure that when we have the next rallies, that they're going to be fully attended with the maximum amount of exposure. Uh, this is going to be crucial to show our elected representatives that we're very, very serious and we're not going to stand for them rewriting the Constitution and infringing upon our Second Amendment rights. So guys, do what you can, keep fighting, stay vigilant, support any and all uh, organizations that are going to fight this but on the national level, the state level, and the local level. Guys, tomorrow is Every Second Matters, the second of the month, so make sure you're doing your part to promote the Second Amendment and keep the fight alive. Until next time, Simplify. Hey guys, Ghost here. Just want to say thank you for watching this video and your continued support of the channel. Please check out our website, www.ghosttactical.us, to see all of our ventures, including Patreon. We also invite you to check out gunchannels.com. Once again, thank you for your support. Until next time, Simplify.